All right, so I'm going to briefly go over the title that I am working on now in GDevelop. I was supposed to submit this particular title to the 3D Jam, but I didn't get a chance to finish it because there was an issue with um, the limitations of the extension. Um, but that's expected because the extension is in the early release form. But as you may know that GDevelop has um, the ability to do 3D now or 3D functionality. And there are several 3D extensions that are available to add to the engine itself. Now, I've used a couple of the other ones or tested them out, but I started off with the one I'm working on now, which is called Babylon. And Babylon is pretty interesting and very expressive. So I'm going to show you exactly what I've done so far with this one. But it's very interesting. So this the title of this game was called Fight of the Navigator. And it was supposed to be, as I said, an entry to the 3D Jam because the recent theme was navigation. But using the Babylon platform, I created a... Well, I was creating an entire world where the player would have to explore and navigate to complete certain things. Um, I could have done something simple, but <laughs> I like doing stuff like this anyways. But as you can see, it's not finished, but I had um, created an entire area over here. And even back here, I have all of this as well. So the Babylon extension is quite interesting, in my opinion. Um, you do have the ability to create skyboxes, but it also has the ability to create dynamic skies. So you don't need the images for a skybox to create, you know, brilliant, vibrant colors or gradients in the sky. But it's really nice. And uh, um, let's see. I started on this one. Let's go over. I'm going off the cliff. <laughs> I'm... Let me, let me cheat by using the jump button, which I have not applied gravity to. And let me move over up through the air so I can float. But while I'm floating in the air, pressing the jump button, this is how much I was getting all of this set up for the Babylon extension. Using the Babylon extension to do all of this. As you can see, there's a lot that I have not done. Actually, all of this is supposed to be water, um, but I haven't put that in yet. So um, this is supposed to be a survival type of game that was, you know, involved navigation. So I'm using the game pad to move around. And that's what I usually configure first because I like using the game pad. Um, if I do use the keyboard, if I press the up, you know, they don't move because I haven't done anything for that yet. But I like always doing the gamepad first. But this is supposed to be a very interactive game. Um, the other game that I was working on with um, Pandaco's extension, The Darkness Within, I still have that one that I have not. I've done some work on it, but I have not completed it fully. And I think I'm really looking forward to like bringing all of that over into the Babylon world. But as you can see, this game is, if you press the X button, yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah, I really want to set this up as a type of um, interactive FPS. Yeah, take this. Let's see, let me try to fly, let me try to jump back over here, see, I've, going through the air and I've done all of this so far. Look how high I'm in the air. But yeah, this is the Babylon extension. And it's pretty cool. Very easy to start up right. If you want to start up with your FPS very quickly, the Babylon extension allows you to do that pretty quickly. You just go to start the engine. Let me get out of this. And you just go to is Babylon engine ready? And then you go over here and you start the engine and then you can just go ahead and go from there with your FPS. Now, being that I had ran into a little issue, I know that the 
creator of Babylon extension is going to update this at a later time. So like I mentioned earlier, it was very understandable. And I did try to rush and do another game at the last minute for the jam, but I did not finish that one. <laughs> um, I think I had like a day to do this one and um, I didn't make the deadline. But I could have made the deadline, you know, if I was, you know, being a little bit more simple with the game instead of trying to be all expansive and everything. But that's that's how I like doing the games, though. Um, but this one is done using the built-in 3D with GDevelop already. And I was trying to do this one. I had a day to do this one, so I was trying to kind of model it after how I was doing the Babylon extension. I was doing things on the Babylon extension, and as you can see, it's not really as, as forget you know look over that. <laughs> but anyways, um, I was as I was setting this one up, um, I wanted it to be expansive as well, with the cars and everything that um, the player could navigate and go places, and it's actually very huge in my opinion, at least for the theme of navigation because you can go down the road. And you can keep going down the road, keep going down the road. You see those coins, you're supposed to collect those coins as well. So I was setting up something that was, you know, I don't know, it reminds me of my old days when I played Nintendo 64. But I have a bridge on here, you can cross the bridge as well. So you can go across the bridge, and there's a cave. But I don't know if you want to go in that cave. I mean a tunnel. I don't know if you want to go in that tunnel, but uh, yeah. So this is um, you. This is done on the G Develop extension already. Um, let's see. Water. Hundred dollars. So yeah, I was setting this up as well. I um, I did this in about like a day. Um, and uh, until the next day, which was well. I didn't have enough time to finish it because by the time the deadline had came, I was like, oh, well, I'm not going to make it. So uh, it's no big deal, though. I mean, I enjoy doing this as a hobby, so it wasn't anything too serious for me. But um, this one would also have punching and everything in it, and there would be enemies here. But like I said, I didn't have enough time to do all of that. But it's, it's pretty huge. It's pretty huge. You can go all the way. Like, you can go all the way down to the other end. And I thought about adding, like, maybe some other kind of mobility um, or mobile, mobile features on here, such as speed boost and everything. You to go a little faster. But you can go all the way down here. Keep going. And there's water over the highway. There's clouds. I'm still running. <laughs> of how much, how far you can go. And then you can go all the way down here. Yeah, I'm just running and running and running. Yeah, I'm going to add in more, though. But um, this little platform here says cruise tickets. So um, I was allowing the ability in the game to actually go on a cruise or just navigate a boat <laughs> or something like that. But uh, if you go down here, you'll see that there is a cruise ship for you to get on. But I haven't finished that as well. Um, forget you know, Forgive me for those strange things that you're seeing now as I'm working with this game but um, on one end there is a tunnel and on the other end there is another tunnel and how I was setting it up you would be able to go into both of those tunnels so let's see
like I said, uh, I'm still working on this, so you can see there are some issues with, you know, setting up everything. But you can't go over into the water, so no jumping in for a swim or anything like that. At least I don't plan on it. But there's another tunnel here, um, and there's another tunnel down there, all the way down there. And you're supposed to be able to go into both of these tunnels. They're supposed to take you to different areas. Um, and you're supposed to... How I had it set up, you're supposed to also be able to go on a cruise to a different area. But like I said, I never did get a chance to finish this in time for the jam. But I think I did pretty decent with, you know, just a, a day and a half to get it finished. But I really want to expand on this one. And I want to expand on the Darkness Within, which is the shooting, the FPS one with the monsters. And then there's another one that I'm working on that's 2D with the cars. But now... I really want to, um, the 3D, I really want to bring everything over into a 3D type of situation. So, I want to get started on that as well. But anyways, get G-Develop and try out the 3D. It's pretty cool. 